guys welcome back in today's video I'm gonna be going through a recent Fox commission it includes some modding to the ears and attaching some horns so stay tuned so I started off casting a fox head in resin and I actually cut off the ears so I could attach large ears. Uh, the customer sent me a uh, reference drawing which I followed. So I'm using an air dry clay to um, make these horns and I'm just sculpting it into the resin piece. Now I'm not being too particular with uh, how it looks because I am going to be covering it with fur so um, you don't have to be too precise. So I usually leave this air dry clay to um, fully dry uh, for about a day before I um, start working properly on everything else. So it's a little bit slow this air dry clay but um, it's quite cheap and, and it's pretty good. And here how it looks. So this fox had um, a set of four horns, two on each side, uh, the two larger ones at the back and two shorter ones at the front. So I'm using that same air dry clay as I used for the ears. Um, you can find it on Etsy, it doesn't have a name, I don't know what it's called, I just searched air dry clay and this is what it came up with. It comes in a variety of colours so um, it's really handy. So this is the final result after sculpting. Um, I'm going to let it dry for about a day and then come back and start painting. So going in with my black chrome acrylic, acrylic paint, so I'm going to start around the eyes and the nose and under the mouth. And again, don't have to be too particular about uh, where the paint goes because you'll be covering it in fur.
Moving on to painting the iris, and I'm going in with a cobalt blue hue in uh, that same chrome acryl acrylic paint. And this one has a great coverage as well, so uh, you don't particularly need any more layers than one. Um, and it is a little bit fiddly because you want the uh, blue paint to be uh, pretty neat around the black areas. letting it dry and then I'm going to come back and paint the pupils so I'm using that same black acrylic paint and I'm using kind of a dry brush technique which lets me paint on a tiny bit of black and then build up on any layers I'm going to go in with those two little white dots that I think bring out a little bit more character. And I'm using a white chroma acryl paint. So for this fox design, uh, it has two uh, sort of bird-like claws uh, at the front. So uh, I used the same feet as I used for my Trico doll. Uh, I thought it was a great fit and it was a great size, so um, I'm painting them up using that black chroma cool paint again. Uh, I will put a few layers of black down this time just so it has a solid look and I will go over and seal it with a Liquitex matte medium. And the back paws are the same fox paws that I use on my other fox dolls. So um, I'm painting them up using that same black acrylic paint. Uh, just messy, doesn't need to be neat because I'll be covering it with fur. Now this fox doll had a variety of colours in the coat, so it had a cream underbelly, a brown body and a black tail. So as you can see, I've already drawn out the underbelly pattern uh, on the cream uh, fur. So I'm just cutting it out and remember I'm just cutting the uh, backing of the fur, not the actual pile. So here's the brown fur for the body and I've just got two pieces here which I've drawn out as you can see and I'll just cut them out. And here's 
is that black tail piece which I'm going to sew up using a ladder stitch and I prefer to hand sew this because it's a smaller tail and it's really hard to flip it inside out when you use the sewing machine. And here's the body uh, all sewn up on the sewing machine. So uh, what I do is I flip it inside out once it's been sewn up. So I leave a few ends open so it's easier to flip. All right, so once I've made the armature and attached all the pieces, uh, I'll sew the body up and um, I hand sew everything again, just cause I can't get the machine in anywhere. I'm just going to attach the fur to the resin pieces using a tacky fabric glue. And here's the final piece. That's it from me today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did could you leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment, um, if you want me to make anything uh, leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one, bye!